just a preview of the quilt that I'm making. Uh, this is one section of four. It is paper pieced and done mostly out of scraps. I'm still working on it, but I'm going to share the videos with you as I continue. Uh, it is really simple. It's all paper pieced. And the pattern is nothing more than all of the stuff you get in the mail that's unsolicited. You know, the uh, made for you TV, the political stuff. Uh, anyway, simple pattern. Nothing but an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. I'll show you how to use those and let's get quilting. Next we need to look at the scraps. I have uh, several tubs of scraps, four to be exact. Scraps are those things that um, are too small to make anything useful with but too big to throw away. Uh, I do a lot of quilting. I make clothing for my children and my grandchildren pajamas, shirts, whatever, dresses. So I have a lot of scraps. Um, this is the little tiny scraps. Okay. Those can be quite useful in making our blocks. These are the larger scraps. There's enough in here to make several uh, blocks. If you notice like pieces I have tried to uh, pin together so they stay together and stay re relatively neat. Uh, these are actually some extra quilt blocks from another project. This is from a pair of PJs I made for one of my grandsons. He loved them by the way. And more quilt blocks. Old strips from uh, doing stripped quilts. Anyway, whatever you have. Uh, if you don't have a lot, you can actually use old clothing whose material is in very good shape. You just want to make sure that your fabrics are woven for this project and cotton-like. Now they can be cotton or they can be cotton blends. It doesn't really matter. This is your quilt. You do with it whatever you want. So, let's get sewing. The first thing we want to do is to fold our paper on the diagonal, matching the edges all the way down here, and giving it a crease. We want to cut the top off because we're, we're looking for a square. So, we'll cut the top off. This is some uh, political stuff I got in the mail the other day. Anyway, we're going to fold it in half this way. Again. And get that pretty close. So, we now have some diagonal fold lines. And we're going to use those to start our quilt block. So, we have a piece here. Um, I sorted my scraps into little tiny pieces and then larger pieces. At the beginning, we're going to put some smaller pieces on here. I love this pretty piece. I think it's the last piece I have. And I'm going to grab something like this. And I'm going to lay it on one side. And so. You need to uh, set your machine... Uh, to a much smaller s stitch length. Uh, that way your patterns will perf nicely. So I'm going to open it up, finger press it, and put a pin there. Now I've got some more pieces here that I can use. What do I want to use? Will this cover? Oh, look at that. That'll cover very nicely. So I'm going to take another piece um, and lay it here. I just want to make sure all of my edges on the piece below are covered. If I have a little excess on either side, it's not a big deal. I'm going to trim those. 
and as you can see, I have a little bit of excess here. It's going to trim that off, and of course that's too small to do much of anything with now. Open that up. Another pin. Lay it back. Now we've got some more pieces here. I really don't have any particular way of laying these pieces down, but what I want to do is go light, dark, light, dark. Now, I could use that piece, but it doesn't cover very well. Okay, maybe we'll try it. My machine has an auto cut uh, to cut the bobbin and the top thread, and it's nice, but if you don't have one, you can still do it. And we'll cut the excess off here. And as you see, our pattern's beginning to grow. Kind of interesting. Another pin. Okay, and, and we're just going to go around and around covering up our paper with pieces of fabric. I like this one, and I have, but I have a dark one here. I think I'll put a dark here. We'll have dark over here and light over there. And here we go. You just need to make sure that your um, stitches are straight. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble uh, with the fabric laying flat. And open that up. I don't think we need this pin here anymore, so we're going to move it. Uh, how about this pretty piece? Now, I had that one laid out. I don't think it's going to work. It's too small. So let's try this piece. It's not very wide. I think we want our width our widest point up here so it'll lay nicer. Uh, there we go. Notice I'm making sure that everything is covered here. Because we're pattern, uh, we're paper piecing, it doesn't matter whether we've got them uh, on the bias or on the straight edge because the paper will hold them for us and it's not going to stretch. Open that up. We'll move this piece out. Okay, now we want to go here. What do I have for there? I'm sifting through my scraps here. I have a nice little piece here. Let's try that. Notice I'm making sure I cover a straight line here to here. And that's what I'll sew. Now I need to find me some more pieces. A little bit larger than these little scrippy scraps I've been using. Now, here's a piece. It's kind of strange shaped. But I think we can get it on here. Let's see. If we uh, put it like that and like that, I think it'll go nicely. Now, when we're finished sewing, we'll trim that. Fold it back. You might have to, uh, some of these, you might have to kind of pick them up off the paper in order to cut them, but keep trimming. Give yourself about a quarter of an inch seam give or take a little bit. Open this up and we're beginning to look interesting. Okay, I have some interesting pieces here. I love this piece. Let's see what we got here. You notice I'm not even bothering um, ironing them particularly lay that one down. That's just a little bit bigger. Let's sew it. We need to come to about here. Now that I have that, I'm going to trim that off and get rid of that excess. Pull this one back. And you can see that I have come, have crossed the paper right here. And we're now at the edge of the paper. 
You might want to get rid of some of that excess fabric. I'm going to trim it here. And you can see on the other side we come over a little bit. And if you want to trim it, that's okay. These are all up to you, however you want to do them. Okay, uh, that's not going to quite cover enough. So maybe we'll put it someplace else, like right here. You don't have to keep going around and around. You can cover them willy-nilly any way you want. Open that up. Don't need this piece anymore. Get us another pin. And you can see we have completely covered on the back here. Turn that a little bit. All right, we need a piece here to close this off. What do we have? this little piece, but it's not going to be big enough, is it? It's not going to cover it. It's just going to be a little too small. We have this piece. Will it work? It would if we cut it in half. It's obviously a block. A quilt block from another project. There's a lot of different projects in the, my scraps. From grandkids' pajamas to... Uh, Quilts, hot pads, aprons. And there we go. We've covered it all the way over to the edge there. Let's pin it. There we are. Well, I had a minor interruption, but that's not particularly a problem. Uh, while I was gone. I sorted through some fabrics and came up with some more to finish this project. So I'm going to lay this one the way I want it to be. There we go. Lay it down here and we're going to stitch this one down. This is a left over from binding for whatever scraps you have will work. This project is not real picky. Trim it. And I think we've covered part of that side. Alright. Pin it down. Pin it down off the excess here because we're going to make a straight seam here so we don't need that. Let's see what else we have here. We have this piece. Will it work? Nope. It's a little short. I have this piece here. I think this will work. Notice that I keep the light pieces pinned together to kind of keep them neat. Uh, I do that in my scrap tubs, too. Uh, it just neatens them up a little bit. Okay, let's see. How does that look? I think that'll cover the whole thing. Notice I'm making sure I get here and here and all the way over. When I fold it, will it cover? Yeah, I think it's going to cover the whole thing. Lay that up. fabric here. I'll save this piece. I might use that in another scrap. But the others I'll just trim off. If I trim them off as I go, it makes it easier to finish up the quilt block later. She's getting to be interesting looking. Let's pin that down. I'm going to flip it and trim the back. That will 
definitely go back in our scrap piece. And this will too. Not. This is a little small. And we're going to trim this one down. Now, after I finish a few of these, I will show you how to uh, finish them off. Let's see, what have I got here? Will this cover? No, that's not going to cover. Will this cover? Oh, I think it will. Look at that. Uh, obviously, this has been stitched before. Let me pick those stitches out. Do it now instead of later when I'm quilting. And we'll lay that across, making sure where we want to position it so it will cover. There we go. Put this little piece off here. Make sure we caught everything that we wanted. Yes, we did. Fold that one out and pin it. Now I'm going to cut the excess off the back here. It might make something. And I'm going to lay this one aside. And when I have several of them done, I will show you how to uh, press and tear the backs off. Go.